everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the solar eclipses and the energy associated with a solar eclipse. Now a solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, hiding the sun's light from the earth for just a brief moment and then passing through again. And the solar eclipse happens only at the new moon, uh, which is already a perfect time for new beginnings. And um, at the moments before a solar eclipse, or actually a few days up until the moments before, you're going to be able to feel that energy almost like there's an anticipation of something. You know, just like you can sort of feel that something big is about to happen, but you're not exactly sure. Well, that, that energy um, happens because if you think about what a solar eclipse actually is, it's very similar to what happens throughout the entire year. Um, the, the moon passes between the sun and the earth, which causes the sun to replicate what it does throughout the year, where it goes from um, waxing all the way to waning. And just as it was during the lunar eclipse, where we experience like a micro month, during a solar eclipse, it's even more powerful because we experience a micro year. All the energies associated with the sun waxing and waning and being at its fullest energy and then at the least amount of energy during the solstices, uh, that's the kind of energies that are associated with solar eclipses and that's why when solar eclipses happen, they're such a powerful um, energy pull um, in, you know, like most everyone's life. Um, I don't even, I don't know anyone that is not affected by a solar eclipse. Um, moods change very quickly, energies change, um, life circumstances change very abruptly. Um, and when you're working with a solar eclipse, you really need to think about all the energies that happen during a year. And all, and, and all of the manifestations that can happen during a year. And so, as with the lunar eclipse, which is just a micro month, a solar eclipse is like a micro year. So a lot can be accomplished in a very short period of time magically if you, you know, care to uh, do spells and do magic during that particular time of um, the month or the year. Now, um, the, when the sun and the earth and the moon are in perfect alignment, that is something that even if you can't see the solar eclipse, you will be able to feel it, as I said before. And if you just think about the alignment of those three entities, the sun, the moon, and the earth, and think about the magnetic pull and the energy pull that it is associated with that. And I strongly encourage you, the next time there is a solar eclipse, sit outside and just feel it. And really be aware of, again, the gamut of emotion that happens during these eclipses. Because, I mean, a lunar eclipse in my opinion, is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more relaxed energies, but a solar eclipse, you talk about packing a punch. Oh my gosh, I mean, the energies that go along with, it's like one entire year worth of sun energy packed into a very short period of time. It's amazing. Now, um, solar eclipses can trigger lots of dramatic changes and lots of permanent changes as well. So um, this is a perfect, a perfect time to do new beginnings and banishings. Um, if you think about how long it takes people to quit smoking, if you think about how long it takes people to gain weight, if you think about or lose weight, if you think about how long it takes for relationships um, to evolve, if you think about um, just the length of time that it takes to do anything. Um, because, I mean, we are in a very quick society. We want everything quick. We want it now. Well, a solar eclipse is an easy way to get a quick fix in magic. But with that said, I warn you that 
make sure that if you're doing some type of magical endeavor that you make sure that that is what you want because um, it's an extremely powerful time and those of you who work with time magic and time bending solar eclipse is the perfect time to do that uh, if you would like to you know stop smoking quickly this is a perfect time to initiate that particular uh, manifestation in your life because of the extreme amount of power associated with a solar eclipse. Now also, when you're working with a solar eclipse, consider the time of year that that particular solar eclipse is happening. Is the sun waxing? Is it waning? Uh, you can also consider the lunar um, influences since the solar eclipse always happens on the new moon. It would be a perfect time for new beginnings, but in the same time, let's, okay, um, you know, let's just stay with the stop smoking thing. Okay, so, you know, like you want to stop smoking, so you go ahead and put that into, you know, fruitation, and then, um, because it is a new moon, that can be the ending, or, you know, like the banishing of your smoking, but then also the new beginning of your new life of not smoking. So word your spells properly um, really take into account all the energies um, I, I've really got to just warn you because the 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 energies and the intensities of a solar eclipse is massive I mean really think about it's one entire year worth of energies in a very very short period of time um, so, well, and then you can also consider the waning and the waxing energy of the solar eclipse. You can have the first part of your spell, you know, like the verbiage be one particular thing, and then once the eclipse happens, and then once it starts to go um, waning, then you can work on another part of the spell, if that makes any sense. So, um, there's a lot of different phases that you can work with. Um, in the entirety of the solar eclipse. So really think about that when you're doing this particular type of magic. Um, but I encourage you, first of all, if you have never worked with eclipses, sit out under the moon during a lunar eclipse or in the sun during a solar eclipse and really feel it. Even though you can't see it, it is still occurring and that pull and that, that alignment is still happening with you know the, the sun and the moon and the earth so please I encourage you just experience it just to see how the energies feel for you then if you would like to do um, a magical endeavor then for the next one plan 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 very carefully I know a lot of you guys like to work spontaneously as do I but a, lo a, a lunar and solar eclipse I highly recommend that that is something that you plan ex very carefully because the magical energies and even the physical energies are very intense and very powerful so anyway um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you can see the Sun I'm, I'm taping this in my backyard in my circle and it's kind of washing out in in the, the camera but anyway so this is the morning Sun yay so I love it but Anyway, I don't see the ducks today. I think they've already eaten and gone away for a few hours and then they're gonna be back. So anyway, blessed be, and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Yay! Okay, bye for now.